Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Really quick, I wanted to announce that I did get a new filming camera. My husband got me one for my birthday and I am so grateful to him because he knows how much I enjoy makeup. He knows how much I enjoy making YouTube videos. So I am forever grateful to him for that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. So I will be um, uploading better quality videos for you guys. That's really exciting. And hopefully by next video, I will be on my new camera and I'm in the process of getting a microphone and everything so yeah I just wanted to announce that and if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with future videos that I upload and if you guys are interested in the newest hack that I found then please keep on watching so when you know I sit down to film a video and they are mowing outside that's just my luck so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys so I just wanted to note that but yeah in today's hack I actually came across it um, kind of by accident I guess you'd say um, I was wanting to create a cut crease the other day and for me that's very difficult to achieve I can do it but the way that my eyes are shaped and the way my brow bone is it's very hard to get it perfect so I was kind of thinking and I was like I wonder if like a spoon would work I've seen a couple of videos with like taping the eye and everything like that. So I thought about doing it with a spoon. So I hopped on Google and of course it's already been thought of, you know, but nonetheless, I wanted to try this out because it looked like it actually did work. And all you're gonna need is a spoon and a eyeshadow palette, which I'm gonna be using the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. I have been obsessed with this lately. It's like $17 at the drugstore, so I definitely wanted to incorporate that in today's look. So let's go ahead and get started with this hack. All right, so for this hack, I haven't actually watched any videos, so I'm gonna be winging it. So this is gonna be the first time that I've done it like this, and I'm really excited to see if it works on me. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I just have this spoon, just a, it's kind of a smaller spoon. I tried to find a smaller one for my eyes because my eyes are a bit smaller but um, this one's just gonna have to work for now and we're just gonna go ahead and wing it so I saw a picture of it and it just looked like you kind of lined it like this and I'm gonna raise the brow just like that because whenever I relax my brow it kind of goes down and it'll cover the whole um, eyebrow so I'm gonna go ahead and raise that and just put the tip of the spoon right in the inner corner and I'm just gonna go in with a lighter purple shade in this palette. And we're just gonna go ahead and start blending. Just gonna follow the line here. I kind of loaded my brush a little bit just, just because I'm just playing right now, but I wanna see if it actually works. And I'm gonna turn the spoon just like that, keeping it on the eye so it actually aligns with the um, curve of my brow gonna dip into that again raising my brows and I'm gonna kind of go in towards the corner as well all right as you can see I switched brushes because I wanted it to be a little bit more precise I'm trying to be very careful not to create like a line from the spoon so I'm not really pushing it in too hard. I have set my face, but I was playing earlier and it kind of did create a, a line on my skin. So I'm trying not to push very hard. It would obviously work a lot better if I had a smaller spoon. My eyes are very tiny. So as I said earlier, I switched brushes and I am taking this more precise brush and I switched to a darker shade. I laid the lighter shade down kind of as a base just to kind of see how it went and then I added this darker purple, purple shade to um, so you could see it a little bit better and I've just been blending and let's just kind of see how it turned out. So that's not too bad. I mean like it's kind of wonky right here. Like I said, I have a funky brow bone, so that kind of affects it. But if I had the right um, size spoon and everything, I would obviously have to practice, but I could totally see this working. So let me go ahead and finish blending this out and then we're gonna add concealer. All right, so I have my handy dandy Tarte Shape Tape here. This thing will clean up anything. 
whoever owns this, you totally know what I'm talking about, but I'm just taking a little flat sort of concealer, I guess, brush. That's what I use it for. I use it to clean up my, my brow bone and everything when I'm doing my brows. And we're just gonna see how this goes. To make it a little more precise. This is very hard. I never realized till I started doing videos and my and makeup that it is very hard to put your makeup on when you are looking into a camera as opposed to just doing it in a mirror. So I apologize if it's a little messy. All right, and there you have it. I went ahead and finished my concealer off camera, but I mean, I don't think it turned out too bad. I mean, it's kind of an interesting hack. I would like to see what it does with like a, a smaller spoon and better practice, but it actually didn't turn out too bad. And the thing with the spoon is, is that since it is, you know, one shape, it's going to be the same on each eye if you just line it up properly. So let me go ahead and finish up this eye and I will be right back. All right, guys, I have completed both eyes officially. And really quick, I just noticed my nails are just completely awful. Like I look like a complete savage today. My nails look horrible. My face is like acting up and everything. So I have dry patches everywhere, but... Please ignore all of that. We're focused on the cut crease today. Um, yeah, but I went ahead and did this one off of camera. And as you can see, this one turned out a little bit better. This was my very first time doing it on this side. And again, like I said, doing things in the mirror is 20 times easier than it is doing it on camera. So this one did turn out. And I think with practice, this could totally become a hack that would save time. And if you're a perfectionist like me, I could spend an hour doing my makeup, especially a cut crease. And the way my brow, my brow bones are shaped and everything, everything it takes me a while to achieve a good cut crease so I think this will save my life in the end so hopefully this helped you guys out and if you guys have tried this please comment down below and let me know um, how what you thought of it or some hacks that you would like to share I'm always on top of hacks they're always coming out with these funky things to do and I'm so on that train because I love anything to do with makeup and anything that will save time or help out a technique or anything like that is is game in my book. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I can create more videos like this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, day, wherever you're at. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.